In this video we'll be looking at generating cross section and long section plots. The reason we've combined cross sections and long sections into the same video is because the way we set up and customize plots for both of these is quite similar. We'll start by looking at cross sections. So select plot, plot and PPF editors, cross sections, which opens this section cross plot PPF editor panel. PPF stands for plot parameter file. This file contains a customization of cross section plots. An already customized PPF has been supplied with the training data. So we're going to start by loading this plot parameter file into this panel. So select the folder icon and then select browse. Navigate back to getting started basic. Then click the X section underscore intro xplot ppf file. That's selected the file and now we need to read the parameters from this file into the panel. So select read and the parameters will be read in. Now we've loaded the parameters in, all we need to do is select the information which is specific to our project, which is predominantly a few of the fields in this title section crossplot node. So the textile, horizontal scale, vertical exaggeration, and of course we need to pick the actual model of cross sections that we want to plot. So the way we load all of this information into the panel, rather than selecting it all manually, is to use the information directly from one of our existing section views. And we do that by using the view field at the top of the panel. So pick the view icon, and it's worth noting that we need to set a section view up to have the properties that we want to use in the PPF. So I'll bring up the XS section view. We'll make sure we at least have profiled a cross section of the road, which we do. We have the ground tin added to the view and the vertical exaggeration we'll use is two times or two X as we currently have in the view. Then select the view XS in the PPF editor panel. And that'll load the parameters from the view. So the vertical exaggeration is two and the model of cross sections to plot is cross sections RS1. We want to plot to model. So I'll change the plotter type to 12D model. The model plotted to will be created with the name preview cross section, as in the plot file stem field. Uh, and let's now just go ahead and plot and not worry about any of the other customizations in this file for now. So we'll select plot. Once the plotting is finished, you'll get the message in the bottom of the panel finished plotting three pages. And we'll use our plot plan view to view these plots. So I'll remove the existing perspective view quick sheet plot from the view. And we'll add on the model. Now you'll see we have three models that have been created, preview cross sections 01, 02 and 03, which are our three sheets of cross sections. Let's add on preview cross section 01. And you can see our cross sections have been plotted and we also have a title block. Now this title block you'll see in the bottom left corner. If you remember way back to the start of the project, this title block has been populated with the project details we set in the project details panel, which opened when we created the project. So if I select project, details, details. These are the details we filled in and you can see the corresponding project number there in the title block as well as the job title stage one and also the designer name has been populated in the title block uh, in the bottom right corner. So that's pretty handy and a nice use of those details. But back to the cross sections themselves Essentially everything about these cross sections can be customized. You can change the textiles, change the colors of each of the individual elements like the text, boxes, uprights and tins. 
Uh, you can add additional models to the cross sections. So say for example, you're designing a stormwater drain along the road uh, in the corridors node and model selection. You can add the model that the stormwater drain is in and the drain will show up in the cross section plot. In the hatching cut fill section, you can add a hatching for areas of your cross sections in cut and apply a different hatching for fill areas. Really the options are endless in how you're able to customize these plots. If I go and add on the other two models of cross section plots, you'll see they currently overlap one another, which isn't the best for reviewing all of the cross sections together, which is generally what we plot to model to do. Let's select the plot to models node. Then under mode, select row wise translation and input a horizontal spacing of a thousand millimeters. Then plot again. And you'll now see in the plot plan view, we have all our cross sections side by side, which is much better for reviewing. Now let's say this row wise translation is the only customization we'll make to our cross sections. We want to save this customized PPF so that if we want to use it again, we can just load the parameters back into this panel. So to save the PPF, I'll select the folder icon, then browse, I'll browse to the user library this time, which is in the standard location C12D14 and then user underscore lib. Then type in whatever name I want to give the cross section PPF. I'll call it getting started cross. Then select open. And then select write to save all the parameters in this panel to the PPF named getting started cross. Now this user library would usually be stored on a network server location and all designers in your office would be able to access this network location. So if we pretend this user library is on a network server, if you or a fellow colleague need to prepare plots that are using the same customization as what we've set up here, they can just pick it from the user library load the parameters into the PPF panel with the read button and plot. Also, typically what will happen at companies is that they will create multiple plot parameter files for each of their authorities that require cross sections to be submitted, with each PPF being customized specifically to each authority's output requirements. This way, when it comes time to plot cross sections, the designer will load the relevant plot parameter file from the user library corresponding to the authority that the work is for, and then easily plot with the required details shown. So that's cross sections. And the way we customize long section plots is very similar to cross sections. I'll close this cross section PPF panel and select plot, plot and PPF editors, long sections. And you'll see the interface is very similar between this and the cross section PPF. Though with long sections, there are even more ways to customize the plots. We'll again load a long section PPF from the getting started basic folder. So select the folder icon and browse. Navigate back to getting started basic and select long section underscore intro. Then select read. That'll read the parameters from this PPF into the panel. I'll then bring to the front the LS section view so we can see it. Then let's use our LS view to load our project specific parameters into the panel. You'll see the horizontal scale is now 500. The vertical exaggeration is 10, which is the same as the LS section view. And the name of the string to profile which is the string we're generating the long section for, has been made the same as the string we're profiling in the LS section view. 
Now, just to do something slightly different to what we did with the cross sections, this time we're going to plot directly to PDF. So in the plot a type field, expand 12D, then select PDF underscore 12D, then select plot. The pages will be plotted to PDF. And the first thing we see is that the long section PPF has been set up to include a plan plot as well. I'll show you in a minute where we can switch this off if you don't want to include that. But on the first PDF page, we'll zoom in and we can see that in addition to, of course, the long section, which has the various standard information reported about it, the sewer and water mains have been plotted as well and they've also been labeled. So the reason these utilities have been plotted is because in the PPF, we loaded the view parameters. And in the view, we had the water main and sewer utilities added. I'll close these PDFs and select the corridors model selection node. This table here was populated when we selected the view to load the parameters from. You'll see if I select the minus icon on the LS section view, the same models are added that have been populated in the table in the PPF editor. Additionally, if we want to turn off that plan plotting, which has been included in the plot, we can move down into the plan plotting node and untick the use plan plotting tick box. So I'll do that because there was some overlap between our long section and plan plot and the plot. And again, after making any customizations to this standard long section plot, as we have here, to save our customization, select the folder. And again, we'll go directly to the user library location. But this time by selecting user lib from this selection panel, which is here, then we'll type in the name we want for the PPF. I'll type getting started long. Then select open, then write. And again, because this file is in the user library, which we're pretending is on a network server, this file can be accessed by colleagues if they need to produce plots with this same customization. I'll select plot again. And you can see the plan view part of this plot has been turned off. So it's just the long section being showed now.